It's your man Delvin. Welcome to Delvin's room. And I just gotta admit it. I was skeptical about the new Batman Cape Crusader series. It was a couple things that I didn't like in the previews, like turning Penguin into a woman. I was kind of feeling away about that. But nonetheless, this series is amazing, bro. Just the kick off of it, I'm loving it. Now, they already was trying to compare it to the 90s Batman series, and I was a kid during that time. So, you know, to, to put that out there, I'm going to have high expectations, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to want things to be a certain way. And pleasantly, I was surprised at how good it was, man. Now, I'm a huge Batman fan. Batman is probably my favorite superhero. So, with, with the storyline of Batman, it's kind of hard to screw it up, to be honest with you. Now, if you look at all the Batman series... Most of them have been pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, Batman is, like, batting high. You know what I'm saying? The only one I never really liked, I never really liked the Batman Beyond too much. But pretty much every Batman cartoon, I don't love, right? But Cape Crusader is different in its own way. And I'm loving that. It is different from 90s Batman. 90s Batman was more uh, modern day. It seemed like it took place in the 80s or the 90s. It was like seeming like present day. But this Batman series right here is definitely, you know, 30s, 40s when Batman was created. So it has a different vibe. It has more of an old school, but brought to brought to new day. Uh, just because of the times that we in and it gave a great spin on it now the thing that i love that it did was it has not brought out any of like the big villains it hasn't done joker mr freeze uh you know storylines that we always see now they do have two-face he's a popular villain but besides that they kind of they kind of didn't you know use the big villains yet you know what i'm saying maybe coming sooner than later and I will say this. I was hard on the female penguin thing. I did. I was like, nah, I don't like it. <laughs> this is why you can't put your foot in your mouth. I love the female penguin on here. It's, it wasn't a bad idea. Now, one thing I noticed about this one, it went a little bit more sci-fi. You know what I'm saying? It, because it is a cartoon that has the right to do that, you know, it got a little spooky. The episode with the girl who was, like, sucking energy out of people. And then they had, like, the ghost man. I never even knew about that villain before. But um, it was great, man. I'm loving it. It's giving different villains. You know, we got Harley Quinn in this one. You know, Catwoman is there, too. You know, it's it's very it's very dope. I'm loving it. Uh, so far, I don't already watched it three times. The ten episodes... I don't watch them three times. I don't know if they if this is the end of the first season. It may still have more episodes. But just off the first ten episodes, I would give it a strong nine out of ten. I don't want to say ten out of ten because I got to give it a little bit of time. And I got to see where the, where the rest of the show is going. But I'm loving it. It's hard to do Batman wrong. And they did it right. Uh... Comparing it to 90s Batman wasn't so much off. Now, 90s Batman is still in a league of his own, is in a world of his own. But I will say Batman Cape Crusader is starting off with a bang. I'm loving the first 10 episodes. I'm hoping it stays on this trajectory because it is fascinating to watch. I'm loving it. Batman Cape Crusader, 9 out of 10.